Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Another 118 action figure vehicle um, review. This just says Soldier Force. I picked this up loose. Actually, the box, just the car base and the plastic, clear plastic um, covering or little insert that went over, but nothing else on it. Um, like a little armored car with more of a sci fi turret on top. Looks pretty cool, not sure about having the red and blue siren lights on the back, which look like to have LED, LEDs inside, but there's no, uh... Oh! There's no battery compartment. Nope, there's no lighting, just reflection. Um, looks alright. So there's quite a good detail sculpting on it. You know, you've got axes, pickaxes, you've got uh, exhaust pipe, you've got sort of ropes done on the side. You've got a jerry can, bolt cutters and whatnot done on the sides. The back is quite amusing. There's no door in the back, so they get in and out of that. Maybe there's a half door there. Um, underneath, they've got some work done too. Front under here is a bit plain, just a little grill there. It's all right. There's a, there's a door on the sides actually here, but that's tiny. Even your 125 scale would struggle to fit through that. Um, turret moves left and right, but then it gets this light gets in the way, which can come out, I guess, but it's not easy. The turret does come out, and you've got another gun there. The turret does open so you can fit someone inside. Uh, inside, it's just there's a friction motor, and you can see where it joins together, otherwise there's not a lot in there. I picked this up, because uh, it was cheap, it's like under five quid, around five pounds, UK money. Um, I don't know if I'd keep that turret in there or not, I'd probably take it out unless I keep it as a, in my sci-fi universe. This is the sort of thing that I would take these lights off the back. There we go. And oh, I don't know about that turret. I'd have to open it up and think, do I want to cut the back open and put that? It's not worth putting seating in because it's so shallow. However, the seats, the seats in the front are really nice. Um, do I have a white scale figure in there? But I can use it for that earlier. Uh, so I'll have a look at this. The scaling with my acid rain figure here, but I'm not going to sit him inside because he's got this backpack. I don't want to take off. I might take it off in his armor. So scaling wise, you see, it's not that tall. It needs to be taller. Length wise, is is all right, though it could be longer. The seats scale inside pretty well, but looks like there might be limited foot space. I'm going to pause now and grab another 118 scale figure to see how they fit in, and I'll be back in a second, and we will we will see. Okay, I'm back. I grabbed this joy toy, this uh, wastelander. I will stick them in sister videos for you as well. I picked her up because she sort of matches the sort of sand color theme um if i put in a turret part this is no, let me put a turret in first let's put in a turret part and it should be a comfortable fit for her yeah she's touching the, the bottom of the turret and she's about waist height out if i take the turret out let's put her arms up first Oh, well, that arm just came off. In fact, that arm actually just broke. I'll be fixing that a bit later. Um, if I stick her in here, then it's the head that's popping out. In the other side, the front turret, again, it's the waist by that light there. And if I put her in the seat, Bear in mind, there's nothing that opens to get the figures in and out. Woo! She can. She's the seats are great, but it's really hard to fit your figures in because of this part doing this like this. It takes away the foot space of her butt is not actually sitting on the chair, which is a pity. See, I would be... 
No, they sh you should be able to do it. They make a leg slightly straight. Maybe I've got a legs too too far down. Let's try it one more time. She's still not quite got her butt on the bottom of the seat and her feet are touching the end. So you will struggle to make figures sit nicely in there if you want to. Um, it looks quite cool. I don't know whether I'm going to keep this or not, whether I'm going to give it away to one of my, my colleague at work for her sons. You could paint it up and look all right, but you can't put your figures in really apart from the turrets. You could put in there and there's nothing that opens, you know. I want to have it so that at least if something on the front opens, I could put figure, figures in easy or easier. Maybe I have to alt, um, modify the front so I get some foot space in there. It's not bad. Let's have a quick look at scale with another vehicle. I'll use one of my uh, cheap buggies I bought and painted up. And I'll stick this one into just the videos as well if you've not seen it already. So lengthwise, you can see this should be bigger if it's like an armor car compared to a buggy. Height-wise, it's a bit taller. Whip-wise, they're about the same, which again tells you how narrow this is. But color-wise, they work quite well. I'm always tempted to keep it for the coloring. The only real good thing is like the mud on the tire it looks really cool. So I need to think about this. Whether I want to keep it and paint it, or whether I want to give it away. I'm not sure. There's only, like I said, about five. It's not expensive. Not bad, but not as good as I was hoping. But for the price, I guess I can't really complain. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back soon in more Awesome Action Toy videos for you. Stay happy, keep collecting, and check out the rest of my content if you haven't done so already, because there's loads of stuff on there for you guys to see and enjoy. Bye-bye.